Hello everyone, welcome to Hidden Collections. Today, finally, I think finishing up my champion's path of opening everything, at least every product of it, with double V-boxes. It's funny how this is, I think, one of the first products out, and it's one of the last ones I'm opening. I think because I always had a bunch of them, and I always opened them up with other, um, uh, what's it called? with other Champions Path stuff, products and stuff to add some more packs of Champions Path to, to the opening. Uh, but we're also opening up some Darkness Ablaze, like the Vivid Voltage packs from Thursday. We're going to be, I was just going to do a Darkness Ablaze and Vivid Voltage opening, but um, since I was able to get that ETB, I was like, yep, yeah, I'll add some more packs to that and then I'll use these ones here, um, so a couple double boxes, and um, let's see, I mean, that's where, I'm pointing at it, that's where this Charizard came from, from NC Packbuster, said he opened double boxes, so let's see if we can, you know, get some uh, luck of my own, I guess, and pull, hey, pull the V, I, you know, I already got the rainbow, I just need the V, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if I'll start doing the... I have to pull it myself. I'm like, it's pulled. So, as the last day for um, those those three cards, the Pikachu, the Char and both Charizards will be there. Um, they'll get shifted over and probably, um, you know, put in semi-rigids and probably prepare for their journey to PSA and then maybe come back at some point <laughs> in the future next year around this time. No, they have to get submitted at a higher level, so they'd be probably, I'd, I'd say probably somewhere in, like, June or something. It's about, I guess, six months behind. So, hopefully expecting some returns to start showing up here, I think, hopefully sometime in January. So, but, who knows? <laughs> Ducklet and a dark Darkrai. So, first hollow, I'll put that I'll try not to block. Put that right over there. <laughs> so, yeah, and it's starting to see, I mean, others and people taking pictures, like, stores are starting to get stocked on product more and more, and it kind of seems like now, um, these, these people who came in, the scalpers and stuff, are, are gonna be kind of put in a hard spot, or, you know... Because they're, they're sitting on this product and the market is really taking a downturn, especially a lot of um, Champion's Path, especially because um, the next wave should be getting here at any time. I don't know if it's has gotten here with like ETBs, you know, people trying to sell them for 100 bucks a piece, even 80 I mean, I'm seeing them for sale for like 55 now. Or... And that's not from people scalping. That's just from uh, other, like, actual retailers are, are selling them for uh, the 55. So that's that's really great, seeing that, you know, they're coming down. You know, they have to do a little bit over the 50 just because of how the market is. But being able to pick them up $5 or MSRP is a lot better than, than double. A ducklet and a Butterfree. The first ultra rare. Stick that right there. So just just have patience. I hear like a lot of uh, videos. A lot of people are like, "Our distributors got we got Sword and Shield base and Rebel Clash." And they're like, "Ugh!" Like, I still don't think either one of those sets is, in in my opinion, I guess isn't that bad. I just think they're just going to be a very under um, appreciated set just because of the onset of the pandemic and everything that was going on is that they, um, Mr. Rhyme, Arc Dissolved, I'm what I'm trying to say, um, that they weren't opened as much. I think Sword and Shield base was opened a lot more than Rebel Clash was. I know there wasn't, like, you know, the big, big hits out of it. You got, you know, the three starters in their V forms and that. You know, you got Boss's Orders and some other... I, I, it's trying to remember all the cards. 
I just think that they're going to be... You got Full Art Marnie in that too, didn't you? Yeah. Or is that in Sword and Shield Base? I think that was Sword and Shield Base. <laughs> but there's, I think there's a lot of cards... Yeah. There's Professor's Research in that. But it just feels kind of like... It's going to be like the Forgotten set. Just because there isn't that huge... Huge, huge, huge... Talon Flame. <laughs> you know, Chase card. Darkness Ablaze is still... Kind of one of the harder sets to find even in stores. Because it does have Charizard VMAX. Granted, it's not Rainbow Rare. It's still a Charizard. But I think... I feel like Darkness of Blaze will be printed just like Burning Shadows was. And put into a lot of things. So. But yeah. It's just kind of doing the wrap up. I'll probably have more Champion's Path openings. I'll probably just be... Um, loose packs probably i'll probably have opened up all the the boxes and everything so i gotta make a lot of noise to make sure it's like yeah it's i'm, I'm opening it the jumbo card Here. We got the code card right there. We got the double promo. A couple of those. Hopefully, we have something to add to this. Then the jumbo card. Woo! Jumbo cards. So, yeah, let's see. Have it. I mean, Dreadnought V and. Is it, is it Piers? Was Piers in this? Or I think so. And Rainbow Piers. I think those are the two big hits that I've that I've pulled. I know I've gotten, you know, Gardevoir VMAX. But, let's see. Got Kakuna, Carvana, Potion, Vulpix, Hatterene, and Zygarde. So, always guaranteed that hollow. So, let's do that. Throw that down there. Another code card. So. But yeah, I think I'm... Whew. A Pokeball. Scraggy and Marnie. Speaking of Marnie. I, I was very... Um... I think just opening these, I haven't had the best luck with these boxes, I guess. And it's been very eh, hit or miss, especially with the whole um, Champion's Path set. I mean, someone else opened up, you know, the, my Charizard, but I mean, Inkay, Lycanroc. And these sh should be, I don't know. These should be off. I don't know if I know double boxes and Hatterene boxes. You can re reprint those all day long. I mean, like the bigger special collection boxes, like the Marnie ones. Um, they won't just because it's then they have to do the play mats and all the other, and stuff to go with it. The pin collections, you have to you know have the pins. Those are expensive. Had this is <laughs> all right. We have another box. So, this is what I mean. This is why this set is really... I really try not to invest too deep. I have, like, a stock of this, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it. If I want to open it or do something else with it. So, it this is, this is exactly why. But these are... The bull boxes are supposed to be where it's at. I say it every time. That the big card there. I don't know why I showed it again. Um, so these are supposed to be the better boxes for pulls. But it just doesn't, you know, for others it is, but for me it's not. There's the other double. I just threw my sleeve on the ground. So 
just gonna share space there. there go ahead. Um, so that's right there is an example of how frustrating it is, especially like if you were if you had to buy this as a scout price to get four hollow rares, it's just not not okay from a product like i said i think i've said it before they should at least have a guaranteed ultra rare card it doesn't matter what ultra rare it is at least one ultra rare per box then if you get more or if you get a full art or or something else i mean not saying that the double not the promo card as you're guaranteed but sent the scorched Man, I wish I could just get more excited. So that's... So... I'm making a great case. But I know I'll probably buy more, you know, during... You know, there's some upcoming ones. I know Polish Rob's doing his... Not next Monday, but the Monday after Christmas. So the 28th, I believe, is that one. I know he's he's <laughs> throwing up pictures... A thousand packs. Machamp. He's doing a thousand. I'm, I'm sure he'll pull something good out of a thousand packs. Sorry, I'm trying to hold back a sneeze actually right now. I can feel it coming and I don't want to. <laughs> so. Machop. Hat. Full. Scraggy. Sense of Scorched. <laughs> Back to back my champs. Like, it's just. I don't know. Others say it's. it's <laughs> wow. It's just. It's just I don't know. That, I. I it just gets frustrating after a while seeing others um, pull so well from this set, and then it's just like you, and it's like Elder Elder Goss. It like it's a, a reprint. <laughs> it's not even exciting <laughs> at all. So sorry to be like Ugh, at the end of the video. It's just kind of frustrating, you know. It's. It's just that there's not enough hits in this set. So, well, like always, I thank everyone for hitting that like button, for subscribing, for leaving a comment. It really means a lot. It keeps it going, keeps the channel um, going and everything. But until next time, have a great day. See you later.